Hey guys, before we start the video, I just want to say and uh, pay my respects to uh, a couple of people. It's been a rough time for the Mopar family uh, recently. Um, Sergio Marconi, the, F the CEO of FCA, has passed away kind of all of a sudden. That was a uh, few weeks ago. It was a shock to uh, us and the FCA family. Uh, obviously, some of you may know I, I work for FCA, and um, that was definitely a, a shocker. He did some great things for the company. As well as the YouTube Mopar family, SRT Mush has uh, had an accident in his demon on the track. Luckily, no one was injured, but uh, obviously the car took some damage. I will leave his channel in the description so you can go support him if you may and check it out to see what happened. As well as my good friend and uh, local YouTuber family cruising with his Hellcat had some tragic trouble and it burned to the ground after he got it back after all summer not having it so just wanted to pay my respects and uh we'll get to the video like i guess i'll leave family cruise and SRT mush's channel in the description thank you guys what's going on guys iw rocker here and we have a short video today but an important one and it has to do with this okay Okay, give it a good tug. You may be wondering why I'm opening and closing the tailgate and pulling on it, making sure it's secure. Well, it would be because about 10 days ago, there was a release on some websites showing that Ram is, well, FCA is gonna be recalling 1.1 million Ram 15, 30, 25, and 35 hundreds manufactured from 2015 all the way through 2017 and it has to do with the tailgate could unexpectedly fly open and uh, you could lose cargo it could fly open and damage you know the bodywork anything so I just wanted to get that out there I saw that and found that kind of interesting it's 1.1 million in America and 260,000 trucks in Canada as well it has to do with trucks that have the power locking tailgate and ram boxes so obviously with my key i can hit lock and it'll lock the tailgate unlock it'll unlock it so if you have a manual tailgate you should be good if you have an eight foot bed you should be good so this only has to do with the five and a half foot bed and the six and a half foot bed and until september I believe 14th it was they are that is when they are mailing out letters saying bring it in to uh, your local dealer and you can get the recall fixed. Um, so basically, it has to do with a power locking functionality of the tailgate on certain RAM models. It has a small piece inside the latch mechanism that can break, allowing a component to move too far and pull the unlocking arm. So if that breaks, it can nod the unlocking arm loose and they're all flying open the tailgate at any given time. The recall fix involves modifying the latch to limit how far the actuator components can move and like I said Ram plans to notify customers September 14th so um, I would give your truck a test you know open it and close a few times make sure it's secure and uh, it probably is they have gotten about 5,000 cases very recently of tailgates flying open unexpectedly no injuries or crazy cases have been brought up other than it just opening unexpectedly so that's good to hear but it is enough for them to look into it and find an actual design flaw, which they have found. So uh, just be careful. Basically, I'm just relaying the message from Ram that you guys will get soon, uh, probably next month. So give you guys some heads up and tie your cargo down if you are hauling in the bed of your truck. Uh, just make sure you kind of give yourself any security you need just in case, God forbid, the tailgate does fly open. You don't want to lose anything valuable. It's good to be back, guys. Um, I'm back for real. Uh, we got videos a lot this week. Today, tomorrow, tomorrow's video is going to be very, very interesting. We got good information on the power wagon. So I do want to mention that the truck is doing well. I am daily driving it every day, but um, I drive this still only once a week. I know it's kind of sad, but I'm going to start driving it more on the weekends, maybe like two or three days a week. It is a fun truck to drive, obviously, and 
I do miss driving it every time I climb on in. I do also want to say that uh, I have a lot of people that I was going to talk to through YouTube direct messages, right? Obviously, YouTube's always had kind of a direct message thing where you could send me a message. It wouldn't be a published comment for in public for everyone to see. You could send creators comments and uh, they could get back to you. It was always flawed because I never got notifications for it, so I would have to check it every few weeks and uh, sometimes I would miss messages. It was just very flawed and recently, I actually think it was a couple months ago, I didn't even know that YouTube got rid of their messages tab so there is no private messaging anymore. So there's a problem with that. I had very, I had dozens of messages that I was still in the process of talking to you guys with um, some, some of it, uh, you know, with important stuff. So. Uh, I don't have any of that information anymore and there's no way I can get it. So unfortunately, valuable information, you know, emails, phone numbers, anything that was exchanged with some people through direct messages, I don't have anymore. So if you need to reach me, um, I will put my email in the description or please follow me on Instagram and direct message me there. Um, Instagram is really the only social media I use. I have a Twitter, but I don't use it. So if maybe if you comment and you have a Twitter and you need to reach me there, then I, I will activate it again and, and use it if I need to. But any direct messages with info uh, needs to be sent there because a lot of people, I don't have their info anymore and I can't do anything about it. And it's very unfortunate. So I just wanted to put that out there. Please message me on Instagram or send shoot an email to me in the description below. I have my email link. Anyway, guys, summer is coming to a close soon. Uh, kind of sucks. But uh, then it'll be autumn. Autumn here in the Midwest is pretty cool with all the uh, mild temps and the awesome color changes. And I uh, can't wait to do some photo shoots with the truck or the Jeep or uh, what have you. So thanks for tuning in, guys. Glad to be back. Look for a lot of videos this week. I'm going to really, really try my best. I'm going to grind. I want to try and pump videos out like crazy. And uh, I could really use your guys' support. I really appreciate it, guys. Um, we got married. As I said last video, uh, Danielle and I are, are doing great, and um, our families, you know, our whole family has been spending time with them and stuff. It's been a great experience. So, definitely appreciate you tuning in and appreciate your patience while uh, I had a break for some personal life, and uh, I've been enjoying it. So, but I'm glad to be back, and I plan on coming back hard. A lot of stuff, and I have very good info about merchandise that may be coming soon so i would love to get that going as well thank you guys so much for tuning in stay safe keep your tailgates safe and uh as always guys subscribe if you haven't already leave a like on this video if you enjoyed it or found it useful and as always i'll catch you later